Welcome to the Fox and Crow Making Stuff Show. I'm Evan Knight. Today, we're making hand-painted cookies. Here are the supplies you'll need. Some cookies. Use your favorite shortbread or sugar cookie recipe. Cookie cutters. Pick some of your favorite shapes. Gel food coloring. I recommend Spectrum. Just like paints, you'll be fine with primary colors, but the more variety you have, the more you'll be able to do. Clear vanilla extract. Parchment paper. Paint brushes. Get yourself some special brushes to use just for edible art. Royal icing mix. A squeeze bottle. A white plate or bowl to use as a palette. And of course, your general baking supplies, like mixing bowls, spoons, and measuring cups. Step one, making your icing. Pour your royal icing mix into your mixing bowl. For a full bag of royal icing mix, you would use five tablespoons of water. I'm only using half the bag, so I'm gonna use 2.5 tablespoons. Mix together well. Once it's fully mixed, pour the icing into the squeeze bottle. Step two, frosting the cookies. Use a squeeze bottle to outline each cookie. Once you've outlined all the cookies, start back at the first one and fill them in. Step three, painting time. This is my favorite part. Pour the vanilla extract into a glass. If you don't like vanilla, you can use gin or vodka, but they don't taste quite as good. Squeeze the gel food coloring out onto your white plate. We choose white because it works just like a palette. You can see the colors you're mixing before you put them on the cookies. It's now time to mix your colors. It's always better to play and experiment when mixing colors, rather than just using the colors that come from the store-bought tubes. That way you put your own creative spin on whatever image you're making. Make sure that the first cookie you paint is also the first cookie that you frosted. Icing takes a little while to set. Even so, make sure you're very gentle as you paint. Remember that different size and shape brushes will make different marks. You'll notice as you're painting that your colors will dry up. Adding a bit more vanilla extract should help. If you're making these cookies as a special gift or a party favor, you might want to put them in a box with a window. I'll add a link at the bottom for where I get mine. Thanks so much for joining us. Don't forget to check out Fox and Crow on Etsy.